तो यार 2024 जस्ट स्टार्टेड विद द बिगेस्ट वेव ऑफ ले ऑफ वी हैव एवर सीन सीन हायरिंग कम डाउन अ लॉट नो वन कैन फाइंड अ जॉब दिस इज नॉट अ ग्रेट टाइम टू बी लुकिंग फॉर अ जॉब लुकिंग फॉर अ जॉब कैन बी अ फुल टाइम जॉब देयर वांट टू वॉच आउट फॉर इन 2024 इट्स इट्स नॉट अ गारंटी दैट द जॉब मार्केट इज गोइंग टू रिमेन एज स्ट्रांग वी स्टिल हैड 1.5 मिलियन ले ऑफ्स अ मंथ ऑलमोस्ट 20 मिलियन इट इज द सेकेंड बिगेस्ट आफ्टर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री सिंस टू थाउजेंड नाइन तो क्यों हो रहे हैं अकॉर्डिंग टू सी बी एस एट्टी फाइव थाउजेंड जॉब कट्स हैव हैपन एंड द अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट इन द यूएस हैज ऑल्सो इंक्रीज फ्रॉम थ्री पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट टू थ्री पॉइंट एट परसेंट एंड काफी टेक वर्कर्स आर गेटिंग लेड ऑफ बट नो वन इज आस्किंग क्वेश्चन हाउ मेनी ऑफ दीज आर सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर एवरी वन वॉन्ट्स टू डेटा साइंस बट द जॉब्स डो मैच अप टू लाइक दीपल हाउ मेनी ऑफ दीज आर मास्टर्स डिग्री होल्डर इज द हाइप ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग इज द हाइप ऑफ मास्टर्स डिग्री एडवांस डिग्री ओवर नाउ एंड पीपल आर जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट ए आई दीज डेज सो लेट्स गेट टू नो द डिटेल्स यू डिजर्व टू नो टूडे सबसे पहले वाई ले ऑफ सर हैपनिंग तो स्टार्ट करते हैं विद द एरा 2020 कोविड हैपन देन दे वर बेरली एनी हायरिंग उसके बाद हायरिंग बूम सो 2020 में अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट वाज ऑलमोस्ट 14 परसेंट एंड उसके बाद हायरिंग बूम और लोगों को सड़क से उठाना शुरू कर दिया आप मुझे भी कह सकते हो सड़क से उठाया गया बिकॉज द नंबर ऑफ ई आई वॉज गेटिंग वॉज सो सो मैनी टू गेट हायर इन ऑल ऑफ दीज कंपनीज आई ऑलवेज फेल्ट लाइक कि गूगल मेटा फेसबुक कोई भी कंपनी दूर दूर तक विल नेवर कॉल मी नेवर इवन रीच आउट टू मी ऑन लिंक इन बट दे वर मैसेजिंग मी अगैन एंड अगैन कि दे विल गिव मी अपॉर्चुनिटी इन सेवन डेज टू इंटरव्यू विद इन वन मंथ इन ऑफर लेटर इट वॉज अमेजिंग एंड दैट वॉज द एरा ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन वन पीपल वर फ्लडेड विद जॉब ऑफर्स एंड ऑफर लेटर्स एंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन टू ग्रेट रेजिग्नेशन बिकॉज देर वॉज सो मेनी अपॉर्चुनिटीज तो इस कारण लोग अपनी लाइक लेस पेड जॉब इन द यू एस पीपल वर कुटिंग सो दैट दे कैन गेट बेटर ऑफर्स इन द यू एस एंड दैट वॉज द एंड ऑफ ग्रेट रेजिग्नेशन सिंस द एंड ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू बिकॉज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री से स्टार्ट हुआ द बिगेस्ट वेव ऑफ ले ऑफ्स क्यों बिकॉज इंटरेस्ट रेट वॉज राइजिंग कंपनीज के लिए इट वॉज रियली डिफिकल्ट टू टेक फ्री मनी फ्रॉम द बैंक दो तीन परसेंट में टू थ्री परसेंट दे कैन गेट लोन फ्रॉम द बैंक एंड हायर यू ऑल एंड नाउ हायरिंग इज डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज लेंडिंग मनी इज डिफिकल्ट फ्री मनी इज नॉट कमिंग एंड अपने जेब से paying from your own pocket is difficult so that's why companies are strategizing the way they want to spend uski karan hota kya hai less free food less travel opportunities in companies and layoffs now how many of the engineers who got laid off were software engineers to uske liye let's get to know about the first wave of layoffs that was in 2022 and 2023 so in 2022 at least according to interviewing.io The layoffs that happened in 2022 and 2023. Only layoffs. If you see the data for first 2022, you will see only around five. to 10 percentage of total layoffs was for engineers and software engineers only 5% but if you now see for 2023 things change and in that number according to vox the number of software engineers who got laid off for almost 20% so yeah software engineers ki hype kam ho rahi thi and log jitne bhi logo ko sadak se uthaya gaya tha unko sadak se hi lay off kar diya so yeah this also happened the hype of you know just with one simple lead code problem in in the history of amazon i still remember they were hiring people in 2020 and 2019 with just one lead code question that also online and reviewing that same in person and uske baad straight get a job 150000 dollars 200000 dollars and these were the people who got easily got hired but now the competition is that much that people who want to get hired will not even get free food in many cases no free massages so competition has increased and perks have decreased for sure now percentage of software engineering getting laid off in 2024 is not out yet but according to cbs there are two sectors where layoffs are happening number one is the finance sector now in finance sector dosto biggest layoffs were from the bank called city bank around 20000 layoffs and other tech companies you can see the highlights right here and in terms of these layoffs इन में से अगर आप सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर्स का काउंट निकालो द काउंट इज नॉट रिवील्ड येट बट द काउंट इज अगैन फाइव परसेंट बिकॉज मेजोरिटी ऑफ दीज ले ऑफ्स आर हैपनिंग टू कॉन्ट्रैक्टर वर्कर्स एंड पीपल इन सेल्स एंड फाइनेंस एरियाज 
not many are software engineers but yes 2023 was the big layoffs for software engineers for sure now how many of them were h1b holders because many of these articles when they are written tech layoffs hits h1b visa uh, workers hard ye bahut zyada sentimentally triggering hote hain they are trying to get into your emotions but reality of that is according to cbs and oxford research it was proven that only 9% of total layoffs that happened in 2023 were h1b holders yeah 9% could be big actually uh, like considering 300000 layoffs and around 30000 h1b holders were in trouble it's a big number for sure but it's not as big as the media is proving 300000 tech workers h1b in danger it's not as big jitna media dara raha hai and it's not as big and dangerous for software engineers either 55% of unemployed adults said they were burnt out from searching for a new job. Younger generations were impacted the most, with 66% complaining of burnout stemming from job search. Mujhe abhi bhi yaad hai dosto when I used to apply for hundreds of jobs, I had to go to Google jobs, then LinkedIn jobs, then other zip recruiting jobs, all of these websites and all of these job postings on so many different platforms it is very difficult to manage and keep a organized list of companies where you want to follow up message their hiring manager and personally for my case i was talking to 10 recruiting managers at microsoft around 5 at amazon so itne zyada companies se itne zyada hiring managers baat karna was so so stressful only to receive an average of four callbacks or response but now there is a solution which you can use and save hours of your effort thanks to scale dot jobs with scale dot jobs you can actually have a real person as your assistant who will apply for all the jobs you want to so for example let's say you go to scale dot jobs you will be assigned a person and he will be in touch with you on whatsapp and also on the platform jaise hi wo kahi pe job pe apply karega they will share a screenshot and put it in the organized list on scale dot jobs you don't have to organize that list anymore if you want to ping a hiring manager they will generate a email with one click to email to hiring manager to write a cover letter even though cover letter is not very important but emailing hiring manager on linkedin emailing them it's very very important so that can be all handled through scale dot jobs and you can use my link and get 200 dollars of free resources and a discount as well so do not miss this opportunity and go to scale dot jobs slash sing in usa and avail this opportunity right away and make your job search much easier because numbers matter the most plus your job consistency every single month jaise hi job aati hai you have to be consistent throughout the market now what kind of software engineers are actually getting laid off according to the research done on meta layoffs the analysis says ki yaar agar engineering mein bahut layoffs hue the for example it's right after recruiting in 2023 and 2022 so in that meta's list majority of the engineers had experience of around 1 to 3 years so some were having 1 year 2 year 3 years and then after that people with 10 plus years of experience and then 4 to 6 so i found this data on naman kapoor's channel the majority of these engineers have 1 to 3 years of experience and some cases more the reason they get laid off is to normalize the salary so normalization of salary means ki agar koi hire well let's say at 250000 dollar salary majority of meta engineers you know start around that amount so now at that salary let's say they have increased their salary to 500k 600k 700k now if they are not putting as much work as 700k salary they would obviously prefer to hire someone at 300k 400k so that the group of engineers are normalized to be average 400k 500k so 700k se the company's savings will increase and normalization is a very very interesting com- concept and number 2 could be performance reasons and that's how they are decided so ye completely unpredictable hai because majority of this these layoffs can also happen to random teams puri ki puri team they sometimes lay off for example it could be the VR headset team of Meta or some other search engine team of Google. So it all depends on that as well. Now, what's the future of software engineering? You want to watch out for in 2024. It's it's not a guarantee that the job market is going to remain as strong. So 2024 data is clear. Ki yar, future of software engineering is there, but the problem is for advanced degree holders because आजकल 10th class का बच्चा भी 9th class, 10th class students are starting to learn data science, software engineering. People with advanced degrees, we've seen that 
cool off somewhat. That's why the importance of advanced degree is a little bit less. And maybe it might be important, but the importance to pay them higher has decreased. So now the situation is according to CBS, if an undergrad degree holder as a software engineer wants to get hired versus a master degree holder as a software engineer wants to get hired, same salary will be given if their experience is similar. Where employment has come down is people with advanced degrees. Same for even data science in some places because in US now undergraduate students are also taking data science courses. So we are now at Hacklytics. Now there is a big hype of data science and there are more sponsors for data science than software engineering. So let's get to know about the hype. So, Shubhankar, tell like, you think that like, currently many companies are not sponsoring for uh, software engineering hackathons. So you think that like, there is bigger hype for data science than software engineering currently? I think currently a lot of people are actually getting into the mode of data science and all due to the, you know, chat GPT, Gen AI and everything. It's been the hype and it's been like talk of the town always and everyone is pretty curious about it. So I think that's what companies are also leveraging their AI products uh, marketing for these hackathons and all. Do you think there's a bigger hype now? For data science? Yeah. Yeah, I think for, for now, at least because I'm a freshman in college and I see so many of my friends going in a DS. Like we have a data science major now that wasn't there like three years ago. Oh. So, and so many colleges I've seen started the data science major zone. And I feel like it's super specific right now. And like, because it's expanding so quickly, it's becoming like its own field separate from CS. So that's why obviously there is hype for both data science and software engineering. But software engineering, mein agar there are let's say 400 job openings, they are very, very competitive. But data science may have let's say 10, 20 job openings, less competitive, but they get filled up so fast. So both have competition. There's a lot of people in data science, but the jobs don't match up to like the demand for it. My friends, they apply to like, a hundred job postings every day but on LinkedIn I see that there's only like 10 data scientist roles posted oh so there are more opportunities there's still in more, soft yeah but there's like in my peers that everyone wants to do data science but the jobs don't match up to like the amount of people who want to do it so AC Karan you are the one has to be ready with both the skills in the T-shaped learning strategy which we learned in the video mein sikhi thi. so put a dot in what you want to learn learn all the skills related to the left right and bottom of it let's say it's iOS development learn little bit Android, DevOps, little bit of cybersecurity, learn many related skills as well because that's what industry is wanting. Now how I am preparing in this layoff market, so I am personally preparing by learning the skills as I mentioned in the T-Ship strategy. I am iOS developer as well, Android developer as well, not showing off, but now I'm getting into web development, Mern stack as well because I want all the skills that are hot in this market. Chahi wo cyber security bhi seek na ho, I have now the attitude, I will give my best, learn quickly. Ek interviewer ko batana padega aapko that you have the quick learning strategy and you are like water, just like Himanshu gave an example that you can fit into any job market. So that is something you have to try as well to survive in 2024 and make multiple resumes. I saw when I was recruiting at Georgia Tech, many people come with multiple re resumes to show data science interests, one complete data science resume, one complete software engineering resume, and one hybrid resume depending on where are they applying. If they are like just hitting in the dark, where they don't know which position they are interested in, just give a hybrid resume with all the skills you have, data science, software engineering, cyber security. So that should be most common. But if a job is requiring a specialty interest, let's say only iOS development, then make only software engineering resume. So be ready in this job market. And that's how I am trying to be and also being ready with lead code at any point of time. So that will be my advice. I wish you all the best. So don't be afraid. Software engineering layoffs are minimum, but we need to be prepared in this market. So that's all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.